Philippines. Oh, okay. Your sentence with the word uh, examined. Examined, please. Give us a sentence with examined. Faster, faster, guys. You guys got to be faster. You guys are like my advanced class. So you guys got to be faster. Examined, examined. Think in the past. Belen, Belen, examined. Okay, next one, next one. Sylvania entered. Try not to look for it. Ni lo tienen que buscar. Solo escuchen. Entered. Entered. Okay, I entered. 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 O sea, ya deben de saber más o menos estas palabras. They're not like, they're kind of like verbs, like reg, like. They use them a lot. So go ahead, enter. I entered a, a new a new input in, in my computer. I entered a I new enter a new input on my computer. Okay. She said I entered a new input in my computer. I entered. Right, entered, I entered a new input on my computer or in my computer? My computer. On my computer or in my computer? What preposition? In my computer. Okay, in my computer. Allí, I entered a new input in my computer, in, soy yo más dramatically abierto, lo metiste adentro, on my computer, ahí en mi computadora, so you could use cualquiera de las dos, one sounds more dramatic, in my computer, sounds more dramatic, on, en tu computadora, but, no vas a usar entered, en la cosa, ahí vas a usar inserted, ok, inserted, mm. si vas a usar que le, le metiste algo, I inserted, I inserted, or I plugged, I plugged, I inserted, I plugged. Okay, so faster, faster, Sylvania, entered. Give me a sentence, entered. Um, I don't know. I, I entered, I entered in a new disco. Okay. Yes, sir. Perfecto, but no se oye en pasado. Ese es el problema, guys. Okay. Si lo están ponchando en la entrevista, ahí se oye por qué. Porque no se oye en pasado. So, yeah, I enter a new disco. Simple present. So, como se oye? I entered. I entered. I entered. I entered. I vamos. Okay, so. I entered. I entered. I entered. Más corto y dale con fuerte. I entered. Ajá. I entered in a new disco. I entered a new disco. I entered. I entered disco. in a. I Ni, entered. No, no, you don't need the in a. In a. Ya entered. Ya te metiste. So I entered a new disco. I entered in a new disco. In, in. We could take it off. Because we okay. already said that. We went in. I entered a new disco. One more time. I entered in a new. I entered a new disco. Okay, okay, okay. Good practice. Good practice for you. Okay, next. Elena, Elena, be ready. Uh, excused. Excused. Excuse. Just, um, let me see. Excuse. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, give, you, I'm gonna give you mine. I'm going to give you, so you know, excuse, just in case you don't know how to use it. Okay, I was excused from the meeting. I was excused yeah. from the meeting. I was figuring it out. <laughs> I was like, I was going to say yesterday I excused uh, my brother for, oh, uh, uh, I was thinking. <laughs> um, I excused my brother for, um, took my uh my phone 
No. Check it out, guys. Temprano yo dije que no se puede usar un pasado, un verbo en pasado con el verb to be todo. Sí y no. Ok, so ahorita I was excused. El excuse está trabajando como un adjetivo. Y ese adjetivo excused es como si te dijeron, hey, está bien, usted puede, puede salir de aquí. You're excused. Con permiso, ya te dijeron adiós. Ok. So, okay. como lo está usando Elena, no, no va mucho. Ok, no, no va mucho. que okay. So, more like, uh, I went to college, I went to la UTEC, and, and we were excused early from the class. Or los dejaron ir. We were excused. So, we were uh, allowed, como lo permitidos, indos, allowed, un tipo de allowed, okay, kind of like I was excused, I was allowed, or sacado, excused, let me go ahead, let me go ahead and look for it, just to make sure, okay, just to make sure, okay, to loosen, release someone, this, este es el que estoy, en mi mente estoy usando este, release someone from a duty or requirement, Eso está bueno. Así lo pienso yo. El, el de arriba, attempt to lessen the blame. Ah, ok. Lo otro es, es como excusas, right? Excused. Que, que diste tu excusa por no hacer el trabajo. So, whatever. Either or. Either or. Cualquier de los dos. Whichever one. Do you have a sentence? Mm. I, uh, it's cute. Mm. I told you yesterday, I excused you uh, for lying me, maybe. Es que tú lo estás usando como accused, es el problema. Ella lo está usando uh, como, es el problema. She's using it like accused. Okay. Like this one. Ese es el problema. Ella está como echar la culpa. I accuse you. Esta. So, de, de acusar. Ella lo está usando como acusar. Acusar y no, no es acusar. Eh, sería como, uh, como dice aquí, release someone, darle permiso de salir de algo que era importante, un, un duty, un deber, o un requerimiento. Un I... Excuse, uh, I excuse my uh, daughter from not do, from not making her homework. Maybe. I see. I excuse okay. my daughter. I excuse my daughter with her in doing her homework. In doing her homework. I excuse. I excuse my daughter in doing her homework. In doing her homework. Okay. Okay. Cool. I, I understand now. <laughs> okay. Cool. So. The difference, the difference. Okay, next, next. Is, let's move on with the next one. Is filled, filled. Uh, Tanya, filled, filled. Filled. Um. Then when I when I went to the supermarket, there was a field. Uh, the line. Está pensando que es file, file o algo así, uh, pero es filled. Viene la palabra fill, fill. Uh, uh, the final sound uh, is a D sound, D, like David. Uh, in the when you see in the newspaper, there was a lot of uh, filing. One more time. Um, in the newspaper, there there was a lot of filing. Filed. Okay, <laughs> Fail significa llenar. Mm. Fail. So, tu, tu oración hubiera sido, yesterday my mom filled up her gas tank. Yesterday, my mom filled her gas tank. Or you could say, um, I was filled with love when I saw the movie. I was filled. Yo estaba lleno, me llené de amor. I was filled with love. So that's the difference. So 
field, tú estás usando filed como poner las cosas en orden, filed, field, field. So, llenar. Hágame una oración con llenar en pasado. Field. Uh, I am, uh, let me see. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh my God. Um, Pensaba que hay papeles que uno llena, hay cosas como los bacales de agua, uh, esos están llenados, are filled, uh, unos papeles que va a poner tu información. So, aquí José Madrid puso, I filled up the glass of water. Uh, yes, sir, I, okay, so José puso, I filled up the glass of water. I filled up the glass of water. I filled up the glass of water, with water, con agua, with water. Uh, no, of water. I filled the glass of water, no. I filled up the glass with water. Eso está bien, si la arreglamos así. Yesterday, I filled a lot of, I filled out. I filled out a lot of papers, filled out, filled out. Tienes que poner out para que sea a phrase over, filled out a lot of papers. I filled a lot of papers, filled, filled out. Sería más como que se entienda, more understandable. Uh, Want to try again, Tanya? Okay, I, I filled, uh, I filled the for uh, the contract. I filled out the contract. I filled out the contract. Llenaste el contrato. I filled out. I filled out the contract. I filled out the contract. Okay, cool. I filled out the contract. Se puede decir. Okay. okay. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Sergio, ignored. Ignored. Yesterday, she ignored me at WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. Yesterday, she ignored me on WhatsApp. Okay. On WhatsApp. Good job. Ignored. Ignored. Jose Madrid. Jose Madrid. Uh, next one. Damaged. 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 Okay. She damaged a lot with... I'm sorry. I damaged a lot my brain with the pills. I damaged, I damaged, damaged. my yeah. brain a lot with the pills. I damaged my brain with the pills. My brain was damaged because of the pills. Como tú quieras, pero la oración está bien. One more time. Damaged. I damaged my brain a lot but, uh, for the pills. Because of the pills, by the because pills. Of pills. Because of the pills, because of the pills. Yeah, okay. by the pills. Keep, by the pills, let's keep it moving, let's keep it moving. The next one, uh, concerned, Hugo, concerned. 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 Uh, the teacher sent us yesterday a lot of rules that concerned us that's pretty good one more time so everybody understands okay uh yesterday the coach sent us a lot of rules uh, to concern concern us okay so la oración on the yo me enfoco y si yo fuera recruiter ahorita la palabra send no tenía que decir sent 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 So, ahí otra vez, lo que estamos hablando, no se oye que está hablando en pasado. Ahí se ha estado hablando mm -hmm. en presente. Yesterday, the teacher sent us rules that concerned us. Yesterday, the teacher sent, sent us rules that concerned us. Inténtelo. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday the coach sent us rules. Sent. Sent rules. That concern us. Yes. That concerned us. That concerned us. Yesterday, oops, yesterday the coach sent us rules that concerned, that concerned us. One more time. Okay. Yesterday, 
the coach sent us rules that concerned us. Yes, yesterday the coach sent us rules that concerned us, okay? Belen, go ahead and read that sentence. Thank you, Hugo. Yesterday the coach sent us rules that concerned us. That's for Belen. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat? It? Yes. Please. Can you can you the sentence in the chat? Yesterday the coach sent us rules that concerned us. The idea is to speak and pass simple past. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and read it, please. Um. Okay. Uh. Yesterday the coach sent us rules that concerned us. That concerned us. Okay. Más confianza. Speak with more confidence. One more time. Yesterday, the coach sent us rules that concerned us. Yesterday, the coach sent us rules that concerned us. Rules. Rules. Z -z -z. Rules that concerned us. That concerned us. Okay. Good. Now, your sentence identified. Identified. Go ahead and give me a sentence with identified. Identified. Um, <laughs> I. Pronombre, verbo, complemento, like that. Um, I will, I will say my, I'll say mine. I identified the problem in my homework. I identified the problem on my homework. I identified the problem on my homework. Ahora tu turno. Identified. Identifique. Identifique. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, you, you can. Pronombre, verbo. ¿Qué, qué es lo que identificaste? Okay. I identified... Uh, my dog, my perro, de todos los perros. Oh, identify my dog. Uh, identify, I identify the man who stole the, the, the money. Um, she was identified as the person that, that is going to win the election, whatever. Hay muchas cosas que puedes decir. Identified. Porque no quiero que se me quede la toalla. I identify my son because I didn't wrote my name. I didn't write my name. I identified my what? My exam, my test, or my homework, whatever. I, I, I identified my, my homework or my work, my schoolwork. I identified my schoolwork uh, because I didn't write my name on it. No les puso el nombre. I didn't write my name on it. Okay. Okay, vamos. Guys, you guys tienen que ser faster, faster. So, la última ronda, faster. I want you guys to do this faster. Tanya, Tanya, the next one is described. Described. Go ahead, sentence, quick. All right. Uh, I describe my, I describe my computer. Okay, está bien, pero no está bien porque no oigo el de. Described. Uh, I described the the. I described my computer. I see. I described my computer. Okay. Good. Good job. Next person, Hugo. Uh, hurried. Hurried. The hurried. I I I I had an accident because I was hurried. Because was hurried. Because I was in a hurry. Que no va a ser en pasado. In oh, okay. a hurry. So, no, no, eso no. no. Tienes que hacer otra. Um, yesterday, I hurried because of a meeting. Meeting. One more time. Yesterday, I hurried for a meeting. A meeting. Yesterday, I hurried to a meeting. I hurried, hurried. to. To the hurry. Que mm -hmm. decir que con prisa. Hacer las cosas rápido. Hurry. Hurry. Mm -hmm. I hurried to a meeting. 
Yesterday I hurried to a meeting. Okay, así. So guys, okay. en esta actividad yo creo que también, como están esperando ahorita a ustedes, en vez de esperar, cuando el, eh, como ahorita hurry es la palabra, ustedes pueden comenzar a mandarme su oración para que practiquen. Okay, so that way you could practice at the same time. La última, last one. Last one is for Sylvania. Sylvania. Um, yeah. Disappeared. Disappeared. So, ahorita, ustedes pueden comenzar a poner, ok, ta, 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 me pueden mandar aquí en el chat. Yes. La oración es para Sylvania. Go ahead. My paper disappeared, disappeared on my desk. My papers disappeared Appeared from my desk. From my, from desk. my desk. Disappeared from, from my desk. De ahí se, okay. se fueron. My papers disappeared. My paper disappeared. 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 Disappeared from my desk. Disappeared. Disappeared. Disappeared, disappeared from. Suddenly, from my desk. suddenly, they disappeared through the fog. They disappeared through the fog. My father disappeared 25 years ago. The, the disappeared. My dog disappeared, disappeared from my homework. My dog disappeared. disappeared. My homework, ah, más o menos ahí vamos, right? Sylvania, one more time. My paper disappeared from my desk. Okay, perfect. Así me gusta. Energy. Okay, good job, guys. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Elena, I haven't seen my blouse. I haven't seen my blouse, my shirt, the chicas. It's disappeared since last week. It It's disappeared since, like, it has disappeared since. Está bien. Good job, Elena. Good job, guys. So, lo que pasa es como no hacen tarea, eso es lo que está pasando. Okay? I'll tell you the truth. Eso es lo que está pasando. Por eso le está costando. You guys have to practice your grammar doing homework. Anyways, seguimos. Um, today is Monday, so because it's Monday, uh, you guys are going to talk like, what did you do this weekend, right? But before you guys, uh, before I pair you guys, I want you to hear them. And maybe in your mind, in your mind, you're saying, Eddie, I didn't do nothing. We're in quarantena or whatever. But you could invent. You can invent. Like right now, Hugo could tell me, Eddie, what did you do this weekend? Oh, this weekend, well, I went to Paris. Uh, we had two tickets. And my girlfriend said, hey, let's go to Paris. So we did. We were there Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We visited the Eiffel Tower. And we ate a lot of delicious food from Paris. Uh, what else did we do? We also went to the clock, the Big Ben, that they called the Big Ben. It was nice. Y ahí, no solo me vas a dejar hablar, tú también tienes que interrumpir la persona, o si no, va a seguir hablando hasta que es tu turno. So, cuando ustedes hablen, traten de no hablar como, no hagan esto. Y esto los enseñamos en las clases de presenciales. Hay una cosa, es como, ok, tú vas a hablar primero o yo. Ok, tú dale. Y comienza a hablar el primer estudiante y después el otro está escuchando y le está haciendo así. Y, ok, ¿ya terminaste? Ok, my turn. Da, 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 da. No, no hagan así. Así no hagan sus conversations. Si el muchacho dice, si yo dije, I went to Big Ben, the clock, Hugo me debe de interrumpir. Oh, yeah, Big Ben, that's nice. Is it big? Is it a big clock? Yes, it's a big clock. O sea, tiene que ser más así, ¿no? No hagan conversaciones donde dejas que uno hable y después traten de make it like, like Spanish conversation like you do, okay? So listen to this conversation that I'm going to share with you talking about what did you do this weekend? What did you do this weekend? And let me share the sound, the computer sound, and listen to the girls talk. So what did you do this weekend, Colleen? Oh, Pauline and I went out for a drive in the country on Saturday. That sounds nice. Where did you go? We drove to the lake and had a picnic. We had a great time. How about you? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just worked on my car all day. That old thing? Why don't you just buy a new one? But then what would I do every weekend? Number three. Watch and learn. Simple past tense. 
We use the simple past tense to say that something started and finished at a definite time in the past. She kissed me on the cheek. It rained yesterday. Angela watched TV all night. John wanted to go to the museum. Okay, so, and that's what we were doing today. Simply Ask about someone's weekend using something special. Oh, oh, Pauline and I went out for a drive in the country on Saturday. That sounds nice. Where did you go? We drove to the lake and had a picnic. We had a great time. How about you? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just worked on my car all day. That old thing? What? I just worked. El YouTube no lo agarró bien, pero la, el phrasal verb que ella dijo es worked on. Worked on. Eso, eso que dice, that's, that's basically uh, worked on es trabajar en tu carro. Worked on. Okay, so just check this out. Why don't you just buy a new one? But then what would I do every weekend? Okay, said on chiste. It was kind of funny because uh, like the other the girl said, "Why don't you just buy a new one?" And then I said, "Pues qué hiciera si no tengo el carro quebrado?" O sea, diciendo como no tuviera nada que hacer. That was the joke of that little sentence of that little conversation. So, what did you do this weekend, Colleen? Oh, Pauline and I went out for a drive in the country on Saturday. That sounds nice. Where did you go? We drove to the lake and had a picnic. We had a great time. How about you? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just worked on my car all day. That old thing? Why don't you just buy a new one? But then what would I do every weekend? Okay. So now you guys are going to practice. Remember, try to conversate as much as you can. Um, what I like ahorita todos, yo sé que tienen buen audio cuando hablan. Con Alejandra, uh, le, le tenía que decir que su conexión no está buena because you couldn't really understand her. So that was another student que quería meterse en las clases, but si no tienen buena conexión, it doesn't sound. You guys se van a frustrar. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so one room is going to have three people, and uh, I'll be popping in. So the question is, what did you do this weekend? Inventing or talk about your la whatever you did this weekend, okay? Questions, preguntas, guys. Any questions? Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys practice now. One more together. So. See you guys in a second. Elena, Hugo, and Tanya. Belen and Sylvania. Jose Madrid and Sergio. So here we go. Diego, Diego. Diego, Diego. Diego, Diego. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, all the students, todos los estudiantes están en sus cuartos platicando. El tema ahorita es, what did you do to, uh, what did you do this weekend? What did you do this weekend? So te voy a meter con Belén y Sylvania para, para practicar con ellos, okay? Okay. So ahorita vas con room two, en cuarto número dos. What did you do this weekend? Cuando entras al cuarto y lo escuchas a ellos, solo dirás, hi guys, it's Diego. Solo saludarlos para que ellos sepan que estás ahí, ¿ok? Ok. Cool. Thank you, sir. Ahorita te mando.
Okay, cool. So hopefully everybody practiced a little bit and uh, got to talk to each other. I think I did 10 minutes for you guys to practice amongst each other, among, amongst, amongst each other. A M O M G, among, right? S, amongst each other. Um, well, again, I have Diego in the circle and the mix. He came a little bit late, but we're going to start right now while everybody's coming back. Uh, the first lucky contestant to the talking, nonstop talking. If you guys notice, I'm sharing my screen with you guys. And we have the time clock. So the first person, Elena, go ahead. A minute and 50 seconds to talk about uh, whatever you talked about with your classmate, okay? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, go for it. Okay, first I was talking with Hugo and... Um, uh, in Tania, and we were talking about um, what we did uh, weekend. So I was telling them that I was um, that Saturday was my, was my turn to go out and make my shopping. And for me, it was a tired weekend because I have to. Um, it's, stood in line like an hour for for my shopping <laughs> and I uh, we were talking about that we are wondering when all this is going to end or, or pass away pass away um, and Hugo was um, telling us that he received the government help this weekend so he's lucky and then we were well I was speak spoke with um what what government Emma. help the the food or the money yeah the food the food one okay and then we were speaking with um Jose Madrid and he was telling me about the many profits that he had with his tacos he talked, and, talked about his profit. Yeah, his profit. He talked about his profit. Okay, good. It's good to hear. I get, I, I become, uh, I like, it makes me happy when I hear people being successful in their businesses. Um, yeah, that's what I told him. That's good. That's good. Okay, good job. Good job. Thank you, Elena. Let me continue right now. Good job. Everything sounded pretty good. Si oye algo mal, ahí en el chat lo puse, okay? El pronunciation is shopping. Shop, no chopping, no chopping, shopping, okay. shopping, okay? Good job. Next person, Jose Madrid, go for it. Okay. Uh, first, uh, first of all, I spoke with Sergio. Uh, we spoke about travel to Amsterdam because Amsterdam is a great city with great landscapes, with great lakes. And we spoke about the beers about the people in Amsterdam, about the different culture that they have. And then I spoke with Elena and Tanya. We spoke about business. In my case, I spoke about Hirosako, that is uh, my personal project, that maybe in five years, I hope to, to have a, my own local, my own restaurant. Maybe that is one of my dreams in this moment. And also, I am trying a new product uh, for burritos. I am trying to make a different burrito with a different taste, but a special taste. I have to I, to have a torta. I don't know how to say torta in the future. Oh, a torta, just say torta because at the end, torta. a torta is a sandwich. Ah, perfect. Torta, I am trying to cook a uh, adobo for the taco del pastor. I don't know how to say that. And I'm looking for different opportunities in this business. For example, I'm going to make a deal with Uber Eats, maybe in the future. To, they are going to provide me the delivery, the, the deliverment. And, but I know that I, I need to invest money. And that is the reason that I have to work to save money and then invest money in my own business because I want to. I want to get. 
I want to be my own boss in the future. You want to be your own boss in the future. Okay, good. Good job. Um, good job. No, no corregí mucho. Uh, good job, se entiende. Tanya se entiende. Todo se entiende. Eso es lo primero, que se entienda. You know, que ya que tengan broken English, que tienen un inglés quebrado ahí, que se tiene que arreglar. En eso estamos. That's what we're on. Okay, good. So thank you, uh, Jose Madrid. Uh, Tanya already went. Okay. So, uh, I mean, not Tanya. Elena already went. Uh, so I apologize on that. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Sergio, go for it. Okay. Uh, first, I was talking with Jose Madrid. Uh, we start a conversation talking about business and I I shared my experience with him uh, about my business experience and, and I told him that in this moment my business it's broke but I'm rebuilding to myself and I'm creating a new kind of business and it's about bakery but I just have around two weeks on this, but I want the success. And next, or after that, I was talking with excuse me, excuse me, coach. Excuse me. I was talking with Sylvania, and <laughs> well, it was the first time that we we talked. And we have to know each other. And we just talk about different topics. But I don't know how to explain. <laughs> but it was a good conversation. You got 11 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, OK. So la idea es que uh, you do Disculpe, me coach. Yeah. Es que me están interrumpiendo acá. Disculpe, disculpe. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Let's continue. Next person. Next person. Sylvania, go for it. Right, well, uh, we start. I start talk with um, Belen and Diego, and we are talking about the weekend. Uh, we were about the weekend. He, she, he told me, he told me he was working on this weekend because he, he is a soldier and it was a little bit busy day. Um, uh, Belen told me too that she was, uh, he, she was a relaxed weekend because Almost whole weekend was was dreaming was was sleeping, so that was a really really nice really nice um, weekend. Um, so we are talking about where what more where more we talk about about me my weekend. Well, my weekend was a little bit relaxed, relaxed weekend because normally I have a lot of work to do, but this weekend was a little bit different in because I, I think some something sometimes is necessary re, get some rest. So well, after that, uh, I I switch with talk with uh, Sergio um Jose Madrid a few times. Okay, okay. But after that we only get Sergio and me. Okay. okay. After that it was only it was. Sergio and me. It was only it was only only Sergio and me. Okay, so remember I'm correcting you guys in the chat. Look if puedo cachar yo I'll I'll put it right there. Uh, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Understandable. Se entiende. We need to work on the simple past, Sylvania. And uh, next is Belen. Belen. Ready? Belen? 
Yeah. Go for it. Tell us what you talked about. Go for it. Um, okay. I was talking with a, with um with Sylvania, right? Or yeah, Sylvania. I'm sorry, I I don't know the name. But I was talking with her and with Diego, I guess. Yep. About our weekend and Sylvania told me she had a relaxed weekend and uh, Diego was working because he's a soldier. Oh, a and, welder, uh, a welder. Estoy seguro que es lo que hace, trabaja con metal. So he's a welder, welder. Soldador, okay. welder. And after, yeah, after um, we were talking about Diego and I, I studied at E4CC. Diego was on a bunk and I was on eight minutes. So Elena, everybody, I'm sorry, Chain, and Hugo was with us talking, and I really can't truly understand him, but he told us he was, he has, like, he received, like, he, he, he what? He receives? ¿Qué recibe? Help. I don't know. I couldn't hear. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't understand. I'm like, I didn't understand. Okay, so, but this was Diego told you that. Diego told you that he received, recibe algo. No, it was Hugo. Oh, uh, Hugo, Hugo. Oh, okay. I think it, he received the, the, the government help. The government help. Hugo received government help. Agarró la ayuda del gobierno with the with the food, with the food, uh, with the with the food, with the. I I'm I otra palabra que podemos usar, pero ahí lo dejamos así with the food right now. Uh, let me continue. Let me continue right here. Good job, Belen. I can understand. Tienes que agarrar más confianza. Eso es lo que te falta. La confianza para pasar una entrevista. You have to get more confidence. Tanya, go for it. Your turn. One, a minute and 50 seconds. Go for it. Okay. I was talking with Helena and Hugo and Jose. And well, first, uh, Hugo told us that he received the help of the government. And because, well, we are discussing that we are, we are seeing a, a lot of white flats and the neighborhood to help uh, for food and for well and and he and Elena said that he went uh, to the supermarket and they they made a lot of um, they made a big line of to the supermarket and they got they went to the, the shopping and well for Jose they grow up with her own business and they are uh, they they he received a lot of orders for tacos and burritos and for me uh, my weekend was uh, great because well first I sleep over with well, I, we had a sleepover with my best friends, and then we I prepared a dessert. Guys, uh, sleep, sleepover, para los que no saben, Tanya had a sleepover. Que la, vienen los, cha, los chamacos, vienen las chicas, sus amigas, y se queda la noche, a sleepover. Okay, go ahead, sorry. Okay, a sleepover, and well, watch a movie, and start movies, and we ate four cars. And finally, I I prepare a dessert. Nice. Nice. How many 
how many friends visited you to sleep over and broke the quarantine? How many, how many people, how many people um, do we have to call those dos siete que ustedes andan haciendo fiestas de sleep over? No, no, it's my friends that I here, live here. It's just only three friends that I have. My neighbor. My, my neighbor. <laughs> Your neighbor slept over. Your neighbor slept yes. over. My neighbor slept over. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Tanya. Good job. Se entendió todo. So, good job. I corregí lo que yo sentí que, que puede cambiar. And Diego, go for it. Your turn. Uh, tell us what you talked about a, a minute and 50 seconds. Go for it, sir. Okay, go. Welder, welder, right? Eso es lo que hace, soldador, right? Welder, welder. No, no, I am soldier. Oh, you're a soldier. Soldier. Yes. Okay, guys. Welder. I thought you guys were talking about a welder. Welder. But he is a soldier. Okay, cool. So Diego's a soldier. Dale con todo. Go for it. Okay, and um, I was talking with Belen and Hugo. And we talk about and um, what what do we do the on, on the weekend? And and we talk about the jobs. We talk about the jobs, and and we was talking about and the series. Then we will like a uh, series that I don't remember, but and Breaking Bad and me. And I was talking about the Stranger Things, that's a good series. That and and also and we were was we taught practice practicing English before of the story here. Yeah, yeah. You spoke to Belen and you guys both of you guys actually went to the same academy. You guys both uh, were at E4CC and uh, you were in the advanced and she was in intermediate, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool. Good job guys. Good job. Um, quick information, information real quick for you guys. Remember uh, Thursday, six o'clock, a little bit before six o'clock, I will send you the link to the meeting, to the meeting with Sykes. So if you guys want to participate in recruit, getting recruited from Sykes, why not? Why not try? Okay. So if they are telling me that they're going to be recruiting, meaning that they have plans to open up. So the plans to open up, I mean, honestly, we can't be like this forever. And uh, but I think El Salvador did a good job of, of containing it as much as possible. And and I'm the one, I'm, a, I'm the guy that likes to go outside of my area. Like I'm not the best, I'm not the guy that the law-abiding citizen, law-abiding, it's una palabra, law-abiding citizen. It, that means law-abiding citizen, una persona que va con las leyes, con todo. I'm not really the perfect guy on that, but um, in the beginning, it was hard to take serious. Era difícil tomarlo serio sometimes because you got so much information from everywhere. But so far, uh, hopefully nobody's been affected uh, with a family member that has has passed away, but people have been getting infected, all right? Law-abiding, law-abiding. Let me just check real quick so you guys can have this last word, law Abiding, I'm almost sure it's with a, it's with a, here, law abiding, law abiding, okay? So, law abiding is an adjective, okay? This is your new word, law abiding. It means somebody que hace las cosas como la ley dice. So, no vas a ir a hacer una izquierda o no se hace la izquierda, because you are a law abiding citizen. You are a law abiding citizen, okay? So, yeah, that's your new adjective. La tarea, remember. Yo mando tarea que ustedes pueden hacer con los, con los quizzes, con lo que yo mando con las, with the words. But if you want to do other homework, you can send me sentence or little stories so I can check it. If for whatever reason I, 
you know, didn't come around to it and check it, if I was not able to check it, just remind me. Sometimes just, Eddie, uh, can you check my homework? It doesn't offend me. It doesn't bother me. Just remind me. But usually I think everybody I take care of, if I don't take care of your homework, it's because I'm going to work with you in the group here on um, Zoom, or I send you the answers to the quizzes like I've been doing lately. Any questions, guys? Any questions about Sykes Thursday, 6 o'clock? No questions? Okay. Good job, guys. Gracias por venir. Tenía más cositas preparadas, but tomorrow we'll practice listening skills and see you guys tomorrow, okay? See you, coach. Have Thank a good you. one. Have a good one, guys. Merry Christmas. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Happy, okay, happy bye. May, May, right? So almost, what, April, May. We're in May, June, July. Okay. We almost did a whole year. In June. Canada. Just kidding. All right. See you guys. Bye. See you. Later, Diego. Come to class. So, out, Diego. Practice.